In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this card using Jitback Compose. And as you can see, when we click on the text, we show the rest of the text with a little nice animation. I'm going to show you how to do that in Jitback Compose, which is very simple. And now I'm inside an empty Compose project, but make sure to add this muted black color, this one. We also need some drawables. So this elephant and your own picture, or you can get mine. I will leave the link of my repository in the description. You can get the initial project from there. Other than that, let's actually start creating our simple card. And for that, let's actually create in EU file here. And let's call that my custom card. Now create a composable function for this. And there's a shortcut if you write comp, then click enter, you get your composable function ready. Now you just need to write the name. Let's do that. Okay, so for this card, we want to pass a modifier from the outside, and this is just a piece of practice that you always pass the modifier from the outside, and we want the image, which is a driver resource image, and this is an integer. Then we want the title, which is a string, and we also want the text. Then we want the information about the person, and for that, we can actually pass them in the parameters, but a cleaner way is just to create a data class, and let's say it's a publisher, so that the one that published that post, for example, with that card. Here, what we need to have for that publisher is the image, the name, and the job. So let's do that. Name, drawable resource, val, image, which is a string. And as we said, we want the job, which is a string. Um, this is an integer, not a string, because at the end we want to access the resource, and the resource is an integer. And now we want an instance of that publisher in here. Okay, now let's start working on this card. So in Jitback Compose, we have the card composable, and let's create that. Let's add the attributes. So start with the modifier. We pass the one that we got from here. Then we want to add the shape. We have rounded corners, so we can say material theme dot shapes dot medium or you can replace this by rounded corner shape and you pass for db here for example but i will just use the material theme one then let's change the colors of our card so card defaults card colors and we only want to change the background for our color and that is the co the container color we make this muted black Okay, that's it for the attributes. Now inside this card, if we take a look, everything is indexed inside a column. As you can see, we can just create a column and then push the elephant image here, then this title, this text, and this uh, publisher information. So we create a column. And here, let's actually create the image. We can say painter resource, and we just pass the image. Content description, I want to just pass null. And let's also put this in a new line. Now let's add a modifier here. And let's fill the maximum width. And we also want to give this height of 200 dB. Let's import that. And let's also add a content scale of content scale.crop. So this will make sure to fit our picture inside these dimensions. So it will crop the image to fit it within these dimensions we provided in this modifier. Okay, so below that image, as you can see, we have the rest of the design. And one common thing in the design is the padding we have here. And because I don't want to just keep adding modifiers with the same padding, we want to have an outer container like a column and apply the padding on that column. Let's do that. So we can say column. Let's pass the modifier here. Let's say padding. Now the padding, the ver okay, this is an equal. Now we have vertical padding. This is just a 20 dB and horizontal padding 15 dB. Now inside this column, we want to have the text, which is the title. So let's do that. Let's pass title. The color here is white and the font size is 22 SP. Let's import SP. And we also want to change the font weight to medium. 
now let's just put that into in new lines you can just come here and alt and enter then click on put argument separate lines now we want to have a spacer between the title and the description or the text so we can say spacer and we just add a height of 10 db then we can add our uh, description text let's copy this one and let's change this to text and the color here is white but we want to change on the alpha value so we can say copy alpha and we make this 0.7f and change the font size to 16 and now finally we just want to add the publisher information and before that let's also add spacer let's add 30 db of a spacing then you can see that the publisher information are inside a row so let's do that let's create a row and the first item in our row is the image let's do that we can get it from publisher.image and for the content description let's pass null and put that into new line okay let's also see what modifiers we want first the size modifier so this is 42 db and we want to make this circle shape so we can use clip and we can pass circle shape now beside this image we have the publisher text here the name and the job so let's add that but we also want to add spacer let's add width of 10 db and now we want to create our text as you can see this is just one text that applies two different styles and i showed you how to do that in the previous video so we can say annotated string we can use build annotate string to create one text with two different styles and here we can say with style we pass our style which is span style and here let's add the color is white and the font size is 18 sp then we can append the new value here we can say publisher dot name and now let's copy this style but we want to change on it and before that if you can see here we have a new line so let's append the new line here and in here we want to change this to job and we want to change the style we can actually copy the style from here because it's going to be the same the color and the font size are the same and finally we can just create our text composable here and pass the annotated string to it and that's it for our card now let's go to the main activity and here let's just create a box and center that card inside the box so box that's gonna take the maximum size and we apply content alignment center we also want to change the color to black but uh, not pure black so we just want to change the alpha value to 0.8 and now we can call our my custom card composable function in here let's actually pass these values so for the image we can get that from our gerbil file for the title i will pass shadows and lightning for the text let's pass anything okay now let's create the publisher object so here let's actually add the name and let's also add the job android developer and let's also add the image which is from the drawable file and one thing i want to add a modifier here on this card and and we just want to take uh, 0.8 of the width of our screen so this is just a fraction and now we can preview our card let's do that okay as you can see this is how it looks like but we can't animate the text here we show all the text and to animate the text let's go to our composable card and we can create a state here so let's say var show full text by remember and let's make this boolean mutable state of and initially false and let's import get and set if you can't import them you can just do it here as you can see you can import this and also this one because sometimes you just the android studio glitches and you can't import them by 
alt and enter and now let's go to our text this one first of all we want to add the max lines here and we want to check if show full text is true then we want to show the maximum number of lines for example 100 lines else we only want to show two lines then we want to add a modifier to make this one clickable and whenever we click on that we want to change uh, show full text to the opposite so we do that and one more thing is the overflow so we can show ellipses at the end now let's run the app and as you can see there are the ellipses let's create and yeah that worked but this looks very dry because we don't have any animation and simply to animate the content size of your composable you can just add a modifier here called animate content size not this one but this one and now your composable uh, will be animated when the size of it changes let's see that and let's click here as you can see there is a little animation which is actually very nice okay guys so that was all for this video thank you so much for watching i wish you have a great day catch you in the next one